Happy Friday, everyone. Okay, so I am going to try to take some aspect of the business and do a video for you guys every single week. Um, anything that will help you. And it'll be just like, and it's really being a good coach and making this business work is very basic and very simple. And in the beginning, I started off all wrong trying to make it too hard. Um, trying to do things that top six figure beach body coaches, like, you know, they make six figures plus. I was trying to do what they do. Um, and not even the main thing of what they do. Now that I've talked to several of them, it's like the main thing they do is still 80% of their business is this basic, the vital behaviors. And the vital behaviors, you know, is one, being a product of the product. So it's doing a workout, one of Beachbody's workouts. It's doing, um, drinking your shake, um, then inviting. And the third vital behavior is personal development. and. Um, Nicole and I had a conversation or a chat about this. Personal development, it can be anything that it, you need it to be. It's taking time to read or study um, any topic really. If you're wanting to study about nutrition and maybe you're taking classes on nutrition, that is personal development because it's making you better in understanding and you're learning about nutrition. Um, you know, if it's about how to prevent injuries, that's personal development and it can be something that you read or it can be something that you listen to if you're more of an audio person or your time is so full in your day that really the only time you can fit in personal development is to listen to it on your drive to work or like me i read but i also listen to personal development when i'm getting ready in the morning so that's 30 minutes of time sometimes i listen to it at work um, depending on what's going on so fit that in anytime you can and then the, they've added a fourth vital behavior this last year, and it's recognition. Um, but those first three vital behaviors are the vital behaviors forever, and those are really the things that make a good beach body coach. So today I wanted to talk to you about your power hour. Um, you want to make sure you're doing those three vital behaviors. And I would say, if you really now, if you're wanting to be a hobby coach, that is some, or just a discount coach. That's very different. Um, these videos that I'm bringing to you are for people who want to work this business and want it to be a part-time income, um, an income that they're just using to either pay off a credit card or to put back money for their child for private school or college, um, whatever it is that you want to take this seriously enough that you're trying to make some kind of paycheck to pay off something. That's what these videos are for. So if you're just a hobby coach, which I was for like two years, or if you're just wanting a discount on your Shakeology, then you can listen to this video by all means, or you can keep going. So to keep this going from too long, let me move on. Um, your power hour, in my opinion, I would not include personal development in that time. And I would try not to include your workout in that time. If you absolutely do not have any other time in the day, then, I mean, because if you think about it, gosh, if your workout's 30 minutes and you read 15 minutes, that's 45 minutes of your power hour. So if at all possible, if you want to work this business, your power hour should not include your workout and your personal development. You need to try to fit that in, either wake up a little earlier, go to bed a little later, um, read on your power hour during your lunch break, um, whatever you can do, but try, your power hour needs to be you focused in on your business and that is building relationships with people. Um, so last week I talked to you about you really to make this work, you need to grow your network, which means get into Facebook or if you're an Instagram or whatever, whatever your social media outlet is, get into groups that you can meet new people and build relationships with those guys. So go back and watch that video. Um, your power hour needs to be you spending a little bit of time in though in your interest groups um, that you know your power hour does not include you getting say you love Facebook and that's your avenue that you get on Facebook and just scroll scrolling looking at everybody's posts all your friends getting in coaching groups and um, I used to waste a lot of time doing this getting in coaching groups and watching a bunch of videos and watch a YouTube videos that is not your power hour that is just something you're doing while you're watching TV if you want. Your power hour needs to be very specific. So for starters, 
on Sunday because that's the day that works for me, but it can be any, any time for you. Pick one day of your week that you can plan out what your power hour is going to be for the week. Go ahead and schedule it in your day. Know when you're going to do it. Um, but most importantly, write it out. I think I can switch this. I can. I put it down on my planner. I have Thursday and I go through and I write down my to-do list. I do that for the whole week. I write it all out. And, um, you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I've been doing this for several weeks, and it really, really helps me give me people to message, Is and we'll talk about that next week, is um, every Tuesday and Thursday is a transformation post. It can be your personal transformation. It can be someone in your group or your free group's transformation. Um, and it doesn't have to just be weight loss. It can be that you've cut out sugar in that transformation. It can be that you cut out Cokes. It can be that you quit smoking. You know, what, it, what you used to be like and whatever that bad habit was then, being extremely negative, whatever, and what you are like now. Um, and if you need help with these posts, um, that might be a good something for me to do um, this weekend or next week. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, transformation posts. And you don't have to call it transformation. I've been kind of doing um, like my talk Tuesday talk, talk Thursdays. Um, you can you don't even have to call it anything. It can just be you starting a post. Um, Sundays is sharing the business and kind of doing a coach invite that you're inviting people to join you in this business. And even though you're brand new, that is okay. You can say, you know what, I've started this business venture because one. I'm already working out, I'm already helping people, so why not pay, get paid for something I'm already doing? And I wanna make extra money. And say whatever it is, like, I wanna make extra money for vacation this summer. I wanna make extra money so I can go to Target. It's my Target money. Um, that I'm doing this business because I'm trying to pay off a credit card. Share what that is and say, hey, anybody want to do this with me? My coach is doing a mentoring program and you can jump in there with me. You don't have to, especially, I've come a lot, a long way. A year ago, I wasn't really ready to coach other coaches. Um, I wasn't in the right confidence mindset, um, but it's fine to say, hey, my coach is doing a mentoring program join me let's do this to be together let's be like business success partners and hold each other accountable and strategize every week how cool is that because you don't know of your friends who wants the same thing you don't know who financially unless they share their financial problems who has a financial problem um you know, or say, hey, let's do this just to make some side money so you and I can go to Vegas or, you know, so we can go and have girls night every week and not feel guilty about spending that money on, you know, whatever. Um, so I do those posts and I go ahead and plan those in my power hour, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. I write it down so I don't forget about it. Um, I, I write one of my to-do things in my power hour is to send birthday messages because you know Facebook tells you, hey, it's so-and-so's birthday. I don't write on their wall like all of their other friends do. I send them a private message and say, hey, happy birthday, and I do like the birthday cake and candles and all that jazz and like, hey, just as a coach, I wanted to remind you that your calories don't count today, so have fun and eat whatever you want. Just that is all I send them. Just that message to everybody whose birthday it is. So, sometimes, because one, it's just a nice thing to do. Two, sometimes I get conversation going back and forth. Um, so it's just a great way to start up a conversation. The next thing um, on my Power Hour to-do list, it needs to be inviting. And I know it's hard to just like straight like cold message invite people I've done that before I still do that um, but as really the main thing that I want you guys to do is that you can invite and do it that way or just send messages to make connections with people whether it's long lost high school buddies college buddies old girlfriends um, or guy friends I personally don't market to guys so that's totally up to you um, just any kind of connection or um, like I've made a list of people that 
just I made a list of a hundred names of like people that I would like to have on my team one day as a coach. Um, I went through and sent like like one day spent uh, went through and liked just something on their post their page and the next day sent them a message just a hey girl message what's going on I haven't seen you in forever um, I saw that you posted that picture that your kids drew you that art project and oh my gosh it was just so precious or your baby girl she's so adorable you know whatever whatever you see is going on in their lives send them a message you don't have to talk about Beachbody you just send them a message that you're reconnecting that is all this is that you're connecting if you have been posting every single day about um, you doing your workout and whatnot most of the time all of my connection messages turn around and come right back to me being motivating or that they say something about me doing workouts and boy they really need to lose 30 pounds or whatnot so one that's super helpful and a good reason of why you need to post every single day that you've done your workout it can be a sweaty selfie it can be you flexing a muscle it can do a short blip of your video of your workout whatever it needs to be but it needs to be like you know maybe with the bod in the background take a selfie like got it done whatever you want it to be but they need to see your process your journey ups and downs even if you fell off your diet and landed in a pile of birthday cake or cupcakes in the office whether you totally slept in and missed your workout, share those things. That makes you real. It makes you normal. Um, no one wants to be with somebody who's perfect. This is, one, perfect is no fun. Perfect is hard. Perfect to me is miserable. So if your life looks perfect and you look like you eat perfect and you never mess up, most people don't want to join perfection. So don't be afraid to share your downs and your ups. But do your workout post every single day. And when they see that you're doing that, they see that you're trying to be healthy. They see that you're working out. So then when you message them, oh gosh, girls, almost all of my messages, even though I'm just trying to connect with them, they end up talking about me and Beachbody and fitness and working out and losing weight or something. Um, so that's why it's good to send those connection messages. This business is all about building relationships and helping people with whatever needs they have in their life. Obesity is a growing, growing rate, growing trend. There's tons of people out there that need their our help. Who is attracted to me is not someone who's going to be attracted to you necessarily, more than likely. You know, there's yes, there's a lot of beach body coaches out there, but gosh, there's more people that are obese than there are obese beach body coaches. Um, so don't think like, oh, my town is small and I already know there's a couple beach body coaches. It has nothing to do with that. Grow your market by making friends on whatever social media outlet you're on. Increase your network, grow that market and share your life. You know, don't post all about beach body. That is no fun, no one wants to see it. Um, post your life to your kids, your dogs, your farm, your whatever it is that you're going through. Try not to be negative. You, I ooh, rarely ever, ever, ever put anything negative on Facebook. Um, you know, try to be positive. Show your personality. Show what it is that you like to do because that's what's going to attract somebody to you. They're watching and seeing like, are they a fit to you? Are they a connection to you? Feel connected to you? Um, do they like how you eat and kind of how you think because you know if you like someone it's more fun hanging out and it's more fun doing things together um, so I'd rather be on a health journey with someone I like than someone I don't like so back to your I'm to talk to you about something and like my brain goes off on all these different tang tangents so your power hour needs to be connection messages um, it needs to be just plain invite messages. You know, if you see someone that posts something about, gosh, I feel so miserable, I can't sleep, um, I need to lose some weight, send them a message and say, hey, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a Beachbody coach and what I do is I help people lose weight and get healthy with at-home programs and I'm currently working on such and such myself. I would love a partner or a buddy to help you know just to help hold me accountable would you would that would you would that be something you would like and you would need who wouldn't like that kind of message there's nothing wrong with that kind of message it's sharing it's just sharing and it's offering help um so you, 
your connection messages on your power hour, your personal invites, following up. You may not have any kind of method of follow up. I didn't in the beginning. It can be pen and paper. It can be an Excel spreadsheet. None of those things work for me and I found myself dropping the ball on follow-ups and it's like nothing like you've got a pretty good conversation going with somebody. They message you last and then you never get back with them until you saw it, see it like a month or two months later and you're like, oh, <laughs> what's wrong with me? Well, how did that fall through the cracks? Um, I was using something called Asana, A-S-A-N-A dot com. Awesome. I love it. I still love it and I still have all my my customers there. I use that and I just recently switched them on a 30-day trial with Teamzy, T-E-A-M-Z-Y. It's not free, um, but at this level of my business, I feel like I need to step up to that program and I want to give it a try. But Asana is fantastic and I've been using it for six or seven months. Um, and I'd say in the beginning, that's a perfect way to go. If you've got money and want to spend it on Teamsy, by all means, go ahead and start so then you don't have to do the work like I'm doing and trying to transfer all my customers over to that. Asana is free. It does have a paid method, but I've only been using the free method, and it's fantastic. Um, I set people up because you can set... Mm, just let me know. If you want to talk about that, I can do a video and explain uh, Asana. I don't want this to go too long. So I also put on my to-do list to return messages. Um, I put on my to-do list to add Facebook friends. Facebook is my main method of uh, social media. I'm also re really diving into Instagram and trying to grow that, but I put on my to-do list, add Facebook friends, because you, you need to grow your market, totally need to grow your market. To me, that's something that needs to be in your power hour. So again, connection messages, invite messages, returning messages, adding Facebook friends, getting, interacting in any of your interest groups, getting in those Facebook groups and liking people's posts, commenting on their posts, build relationships with those guys. Um, team page check-in, I put that on there because I was really bad about not getting in team life changers or whatnot, um, and I'm still bad at it. I get in there like once or twice a week, but I put that on there because I feel like that's important because it's some good, valuable information is in there and I don't want to miss out. Um, so it's not something I do every day. Um, it really just depends on how my day goes. But that's on my to-do list. Um, to me, I have on here coach invites. I used to be last year, I was really bad. I only like, would invite a coach, someone to coach, like maybe two people a month. Honestly, that was it, and that's not enough. If you want to grow this business, you've got to talk about the business side of it. If you never talk about the business side of it, you're never going to get any coaches underneath you. Um, if you're only talking about weight loss and health, then that's all you're going to get is people who need to lose weight and want to be healthy. So share. Show where are you working your business. Show um, that you're making a meal plan for your team. I do that one. Show that you're returning messages and how great the feeling is when you help somebody just get jump started and eat clean for three days and how it's made them feel that's a big deal um, and that you've got your child next to you you know take a selfie with your computer and your child or your dog in your lap show that you're working the business and share that side of it if you never share that side of it you're never going to get any coaches underneath you um, so coach invite is also on my to-do list and I've gotten much 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 better at that this shoot the last 30 days I've invited shoot 10 to 20 coaches a week so um, that's a lot you know if you do one person one coach invite a day I say that's a fantastic because then that's like six to seven people you're inviting to coach a week it's this business is a numbers game the more people you talk to the more people you invite <clears throat> either to join your challenge group your free group or your coaching group the more people are going to sign up with you um, that was a reality to me last spring and summer. I was just like, oh, it talk about inviting three people a day. I don't know, I don't know if that's a rule in Beach Bay or where that came from, but it's at least talk to three people a day, invite three people a day. So that's all I was doing. I was like, oh, got my three done. My power hour is done. And then it was like, I was hearing a lot of people talking about it being a numbers game. And I'm like, why am I just talking to three people a day? So then I bumped it up to five people a day, did that. My business really jumped made a big difference five people a day and it was like wow okay five people a day man I'm trying to do 10 to 20 people a day now um, and 
especially when I'm doing my transformation. Anybody that likes my transformation post or my coaching post, if they like it, I send them a message and I can share those with you. They don't have to be creepy, um, but it's just a connection message. And you know what? Those count. And the more connection messages you send out to people, the more conversations you're going to have people with people, period. And you don't know who is ready to join you and who's not. Um, let's see, what else is on here? Um, follow up, I think I said that. I think that's how I got off on Asana and Teamsy. You wanna make sure you're following up. You know, so write it down. That's on my to-do list to follow up with people. That, you know, someone that you've kind of gone back and forth with, you've asked, asked them some questions about themselves or they're kind of thinking about it, you know, whether you follow up a day or two days later or three days later. And then if say you did follow up two days later, then I said like, okay, in three days again, I'm gonna follow up. Um, so I follow up with people every day. And then at the bottom of my to-do list, I have like read personal development, workout, and Shaco, and I make sure I check those off. But that really, that's my basis power hour. And I used to try to plan out my posts for social media for the whole week. That burnt me out, honestly, trying to be create, creative and think of like a week's worth of posts on a Sunday afternoon. Um, I did it for a little while and just burnt me out. And then I found like my posts were better when I'm just being more real, real of like real in the moment. What's happening? What's going on today? How do you feel today? What are you inspired by today? What is hysterical that happened today? What's kind of funny? What's humorous? Um, just share your day. Um, I can help you guys with this if you feel like this is something that you need help with. Um, that can be another training session. Um, so really. That is my power hour, sending mess. I really spend my whole hour now sending messages and answering messages. Um, and it's invite messages, connection messages, returning messages, coach invite messages. Um, that's really my power hour. And then it's like, I've fallen off of adding friends to my network, which has been really, really bad because I've seen my business slow down from it. Um, I've got to get back and to get more involved in my interest groups. I've falling off track with that and inviting friends. And I invite friends from the interest group. I used to be creepy and go to my friends and invite their friends to be friends with. I don't do that, that's what I did last year. And you can do that and you can grow some. Like if you have several friends in common, sure. Um, can't say any of those people have ever bought anything from me. The last fall, like last July, June, July, August, September, um, I was inviting five friends, three to five friends a day off from the interest group that I was in. And that worked for me. That's where I'd say most of my customers came from in the fall season was from people I made friends with from those interest group. Uh, that's something Cindy had been telling us in her in TLC and her group page, team page for a year, get in interest groups, get in interest groups. And I was like, yeah, whatever totally pays off get in things anything whatever it is that you're interested in i think i talked about in last week's video watch that video um <clears throat> made a huge difference in my business and my business slowed down because one i took a break which was stupid and i could, could kick myself in the butt um because i had some good momentum going and took a break and um back into messaging and working my business but i i haven't gotten back into those group and making friends and it's it's my business has hurt from it, from not doing it. So I'd really say that's what your power hour is every day. Make sure you're reading or listening to personal development. Uh, make sure you're working out and drinking your Shakeology. And then next, send birthday messages every day. Interact in your interest groups on Facebook. Send friend requests on Facebook. Um, return messages, make connection messages, do invite messages, spend some time that day kind of thinking about what you want to post about. Um, or whenever you have an idea, I, in my planner, I have a page of like post ideas. Like, cause I'll just think of something and be like, oh, that'd be a good post. And I write it down just so make sure I do. Um, and then it helps me, you know, with later on in case it's like, gosh, I don't have any kind of post for today this afternoon and I don't know what to post about. Ooh, go to my list. Um, that's basically it. It's super simple. This business is is super simple, but it is also hard. I mean, it is going to take, and I'd say the hard part is because, yes, you can message three people every single day for a month and maybe sell one thing. That's going to happen. Planting, 
you, all these messages you're doing are planting seeds and planting seeds and planting seeds. Those people, I promise you, because I saw it happen to me, those people are going to come around. The more you message and talk to people, I promise you, just keep that momentum up. Don't get frustrated. Is it going to happen in a month? Maybe not. Is it going to happen in two months? Maybe not. Maybe it'll take three months of you solid messaging five people a day. But it will pay off. Just stay consistent. People give up. They get frustrated and they just stop. Then you're on this hamster wheel. Like you're never going to get anywhere. Ever. You're in these bumper cars and you're going, you're stopping, going and stopping. You're never going to get anywhere. You've got to be consistent. You've got to do these things that I've talked about today every single day. You've got to send messages up. Definitely your workout, Shaco, reading personal development. I've seen that help my business. I know it helps my business. And messaging people every day, you have to do that. The three vital behaviors. You have to do that or your business is not going to go anywhere. So if you wonder why maybe your business isn't taking off and one most of you are still very very new is are you doing those things at least six days a week okay maybe take Sunday off but you still got to post on social media on Sundays are you doing those things every day when I wasn't reading my personal development my business wasn't as good in the spring I wasn't reading personal development but I was sending three messages a day you know I was doing the task but I wasn't reading personal development when I started reading personal development I swear I see a difference in my posts I post better makes me a better person to where I'm like my mindset's in the right place when I'm messaging and connecting with people it makes a difference you guys and when you see people that are bettering themselves and trying to improve and be a better person you're going to attract people to you no one wants to be around negative hateful people they want to be around people that are trying to better themselves um, if you're not inviting and sharing your workouts and your food, like I don't share my Shakeology every day because I'm afraid it would be super salesy. Um, I do it like once a week and I really need to try to scatter it in a little bit more than that. But you've got to show the, the workouts. I try to show my personal development a couple times a week. You've got to do and be consistent with that. You can't do it for two weeks and then not for two weeks and do it for two weeks and not for two weeks. People see that. People right now are just watching you. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. She says she's doing this new workout program. We'll see if she finishes. I want to see her before and after picture. I'm going to see if she shows up tomorrow and next week. They're watching. I've had people watch me six months and then join me. I've had people watch me for a year and a half. I think that's probably been the longest one. Someone watched me for a year and a half and then finally joined me. Sometimes it's just been three months. Maybe it's been one month. Sometimes it's been nine months. Sometimes it's been six months. You have to stay consistent. And that's why you got to keep growing your network. The same people are watching you. If you're not growing your network, you're not talking to anybody new. You're talking to the same people. But you got to keep posting. you got to be consistent with this. It will pay off. I've seen too many people, too many people, Gosh, all of our upline coaches, it's worked for them. They've done it. If they can do it, there's no reason why I can't do it, and there's no reason why you can't do it. And I finally, this last year, like got my head in the right place, started really seriously working this business, and saw a huge difference in my business and in my paycheck with Beachbody. And I could kick myself in the foot for slowing down and stopping in October because I wanted to take a break and in December because it totally killed the momentum. So I'm back at it again. I'm in the same place where you are right now, where guys, where I'm messaging 20, 30, 40, 50 people a week. As he has way more than 20. I actually want to go back and count how many people I've talked to. Um, 100 people a week. I'm planting a lot of seeds, but I'm not hung up that I just had two SC points last month. I'm not hung up, hung up over that. Would I really wanted six, five. You know, five's the minimum we shoot for every month. I really wanted five. But I only hit two. That's okay. So I talk to a hell of a lot of people. A hell of a lot of people. And I know that's going to pay off and I'm going to keep it up and I'm still doing it. Today I've talked to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I've talked to 18 people just today. And I have a whole lot more because so many people liked my post last night. My um, transformation post. That's who I'm messaging on Wednesday, mor Monday mornings, Wednesday mornings, and Friday mornings. I'm messaging the people that liked my coach post or my transformation post. So simple, guys. So simple. So, you know, I'm sticking with it because I know it's going to pay off because I witnessed it for myself last year. 
and know it happens and know it works. So I'm sorry, I gotta make these not be so long. Um, maybe do them more times a week and just make, make myself only talk about a certain thing and not keep going. Um, but I have a lot of knowledge to share with you guys and I, I wanna share it with you. And I can share with you what's worked for me and what hasn't worked for me. Um, because I didn't, Cindy was still learning her business in the beginning, that she couldn't share that kind of info with me because she didn't know. So for, I wanna help you start you off better than how I started off, so it won't take you as long. So I hope you find this helpful. Um, please shoot in the comments if there's something I said that you want me to go into more um, into. And same thing with last week's video. If there's anything that I talk about that you want me to go in more depth on or explain a little better, please put it down in the comments. If you don't talk to me, I don't know how to help you. So I need to know specific and little nuggets. Like you can't just say like to grow this business. Like if you've got specific nuggets that you need help with, put that down below. Um, otherwise I'll just keep sharing what pops to my, my head. Um, but I wanna know if there's something specific. So drop it in comments and I'll talk to you. I'll start, try to do more than just one a week, do two to three a week. And maybe we'll even get up to one a day. Maybe I'll make them shorter and do like five minutes, and one a day. But we'll talk. I hope you have a great weekend and a great day. It's almost off work time, kind of. <sighs> talk to you ladies later.